Well, hi everybody. I just got back from Target. They didn't have my favorite aftershave, but they did have something that people have been asking me to review for a long time. And I've been putting it off, being like, I don't want to do that razor. The Vanderhagen. Yes, you know it, you love it, you see it everywhere. It's in grocery stores, it's in convenience stores probably. <laughs> They're just lying around in gutters on the street. Pick one up. I picked one up. It was only 12 bucks today. I think normally they're like 17, 18, almost 20, but it was only $12 at Target. So I thought I'm going to go ahead and try it out. I've never used one. Uh, I had the Vanderhagen bowl that I don't use, <laughs> but I decided to try out the razor today and uh, I'm going to use the blades that come with it because this is going to be a shave like, uh, like someone that's just getting into shaving with a safety razor. So I'm going to use Barbasol. You could use whatever shaving cream you want. Uh, after shave, I'm going to use some Barbasol, just some body lotion for great for after shaving or anytime. But if you have some other kind of after shave, use that. Don't neglect the after shave. Use some lotion on your skin after you shave. Okay. Don't neglect your face. All right. Let's open this sucker up and see what it looks like. I took a shower, did my hair as I always do. And so it comes with one safety razor and how many blades? Five blades. So I'm not sure about the uh, manufacturer or anything like that. I'm just going to take it out and use it because, you know, who's going to do their, their, their super research when you're just, you know, starting off and you're going to buy yourself a, uh, you know, a grocery store safety razor. So it feels good. It feels heavy. It's closed on the end there. It is a butterfly razor, which I really like because then you don't have to worry about unscrewing the top and things like that. And it says Vanderhagen right there on the top. You see that? Vanderhagen. Is that the correct pronunciation? I don't know. Ooh, it's all very shiny today. Look at that. So it's got a good weight to it. Let's see how it feels. Yeah, it's got a good solid. It doesn't feel cheap at all. See, I was afraid it was going to kind of feel cheap, like really thin stamped metal. But it's not too bad. It's got a real smooth mechanism. It's got knurling all the way down the handle. It reminds me a little bit of this razor. The Gillette from the 50s, the red tip. That's kind of what it looks like. It's a little bit, it's close to that size and shape. All right, so let's load it up. It comes with five blades, as I said. I don't know where they're, oh, they're made in Germany. Oh, Germany, I like Germany. They got some good, they make good stuff. They got good uh, tolerances in <laughs> their manufacturing. All right, let's take it out, slide it out here. And remember, save this little plastic thing because you can put your old blades in the bottom. There's a blade bank in there. So when you're done with your first blade, stick it in there. All right. So it says Vanderhagen, made in Germany, ice-tempered stainless steel. Ooh, ice-tempered. I don't know what that means, but sounds impressive, right? <laughs> it's probably just marketing. All right, I'm going to unscrew the top, load the blade in, just like this if you've never done it before. Just goes right in. Close it. Make sure you get it all the way down. Make sure the blade is straight on each side. It looks okay to me. All right. Let's put some hot water on my face. I took a shower, as I said, but it's been a few minutes, so I'm going to put some hot water on my face to soften the beard again. And then we'll get the old trusty Barbasol out. Just the original Barbasol. Use whatever shaving cream you want. Use a brush if you want. Use a gel. I'm choosing this one because it's going to kind of be, like I said earlier, it's going to be kind of be like, a, you know, you just walk into a Target, maybe you're 16, 15, 14 years old or something, you just want to start shaving and you've tried cartridge razors and now you want to try a safety razor. You want to see what all the fuss is about. All right, let's see. It's got blade overhang on the ends, but it doesn't matter because it's a butterfly, so you don't have to hold on to the head for anything. All right, here we go. Interesting. It's getting a lot of audio feedback. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a decent weight. It's kind of lightweight, but it's not too light. If that makes sense. Go back over this. I had, it was kind of jumpy at first there. That feels better now. It doesn't feel too mild or too aggressive. It's kind of like a sweet spot. And for twelve dollars, I don't know. So far, it feels like you can't go wrong. You know, it's like you don't want to jump into the deep end with both feet unless you're really sure you want to shave like this. 
So let's see, I'm gonna do my normal three passes. You don't have to do that, certainly. You could do one pass and be done. One and done. I can feel the blade, and the blade seems okay. It doesn't feel as sharp as the normal feather blades that I use. But it's fine for, let's say you're on vacation and you forgot your safety razor at home, or you didn't want to carry it. You run to the Target, buy yourself one of these, and it won't matter if you lose it in your luggage. Especially if you can get a $12 deal like I did. Now, that's probably not going to be the case after this time. I think it said it was April 3rd. So whenever you're watching this video, <laughs> that might be long over. But so far, it feels very passable. Even for, you know, I've used a lot, a lot, a lot of different safety razors. Vintage ones, 100-year-old ones, expensive ones. Not expensive ones. This one beats the pants off the dollar store safety razor, that's for sure. But some people like that one. Some people like this dollar store safety razor. Mine was broken, so I can't recommend that one. I need to check. I got some like ingrown hair looking things going down here. Watch that when you're uh, when you're shaving. All right, there's the first pass. Not bad. You could easily stop right now and be done. All right, I'm gonna do a second pass. Because that's what I do. That's what I do. That's a weird voice. I put less shaving cream the second time. You don't need as much because, you know, the majority of the whiskers are gone. And uh, if you're a very experienced wet shaver, then uh, don't mind me. Sometimes I like to, when I'm doing videos like this, I like to kind of speak more to the people that are just starting out, you know. All right. Second pass across the grain. Still here. Go real light, let the razor do its work. Don't press too hard. That I remember when I first started shaving like this about 10 years ago. The first time I shaved with a safety razor, I pressed as hard as I normally did with a cartridge. And oh boy, I had razor burn. That's when you need lotion. Hey, I got requests all the time to try this one. And I was like, I don't know. I kind of had already made up my mind that I wasn't going to like it or that it was cheap. But don't do that. <laughs> I'm glad I did. I'm glad I bought it. And hopefully you'll get some uh, value out of this if you were thinking about doing the same thing. Now, if you've already got tons of other safety razors, you don't need to buy this one. But it's really not bad. Not bad at all. And it is everywhere. You can find it. I've seen it everywhere. I think normally it's almost like $20, but... Uh, yeah, it feels good. The handle feels good. It's not slippery at all. It's got that knurling on it. Yeah. Not bad at all. Hopefully you can, I've got the window open. Can you hear the birds? Oh my gosh, it's the most beautiful day today. It's like 65 degrees and sunny. Spring has sprung, folks. You know what that means? I'm taking Claritin every day because, oh boy, the allergies here in Central Texas will get you. They will get you. <laughs> if you're not used to it. There we go, all right. Second pass done. Feeling good, it's easy. It's like comfortable. It's doing a pretty dang good job right now. Third pass. Let's go for it. Put some more water up. The more water and cushion and uh, you know, if you want to use a pre-shave oil or a lotion, do it. Your face will thank you. Don't need very much. Just a light, very light coating. Just enough to keep your face protected from the blade as much as it can. You can tell by the sunlight now that summer is coming. Start to get these interesting uh, light patterns in this bathroom. All right. Third pass, I always go like this on my neck because the hair grows in weird ways. And this is never a comfortable part for me to shave. This is always my least favorite part to shave. And, you know, when you figure out how the hair grows on your face 
And if you want to do three passes, then, uh, then you'll know which way to drag that razor lightly, especially on the third pass, light, light, light. Just barely holding on. I'm barely holding on folks. <laughs> oh boy. Now, I don't think this would be good for sensitive skin because I am, I do feel the blade. It is on the medium side, medium to aggressive side, in my opinion. I still think the, the uh, Gillette, the King C Gillette, I think I prefer that one, even though it's not a butterfly razor. And that's only if I'm choosing from easily uh, available uh, uh, razors. You know, if I'm saying, oh, you know, you're in the store and you want to buy a razor, I might go more with the King C Gillette over this one. Two very different razors. I like the style of that one better. The blade length, it is a three piece razor. So you will have to deal with loading, unscrewing the head and all that stuff. But yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Not really. All right, get underneath the nostrils. It already was pretty good, so that's good. When you get a smaller, you know, less, it's not a real thick head. It's easier to get under your nose and other places. Very light. I think I got a couple of nicks. Not too bad. I need to try out my feather blades in this. Because I can tell that these blades are not quite as sharp. Here's what a feather blade looks like, in case you don't know. Actually, it says feather on it. Made in Japan. Purported to be the sharpest blade in the world. All right. Let's rinse off and feel my face. Everybody, come on. Get closer. Feel the face. Wow. Yeah. Very, very smooth. Now, I always have this section right here that I have to do this. That's like the third and... This is like my 3.125 pass. <laughs> Three and an eighth. Just to get that stuff that bothers me, you know? You don't have to do this. It's a little, I'm a little crazy. If I'm gonna do three passes, I want it to be smooth. Ooh, ooh. All right, there we go. Let's rinse off one last time. Rinse off with cold water to kind of close your pores up. Shock your skin. Mm. Wake you up in the morning if you shave in the morning. Ah. Now, as I said earlier, do not neglect your face. Use some sort of aftershave. Now, if you don't want to get, you know, like a, that burning sensation, use a lotion that's not alcohol-based. I just happen to have this Barbasol lotion. Don't use a real thick body lotion. Use like a, a, like a light thin so it won't clog up your pores. This one actually says it's great after shaving. I don't even know if you can find this stuff anymore. I found it at Big Lots like two years ago. And I still haven't used it all up. Ah, there we go. All right. Well, the Vanderhagen. The Vanderhagen Safety Razor. Available at your local whatever is local to you. <laughs> Whether you're in the... It probably... Can it, it, do you guys have this over there in the UK or in Europe? In that part of the world? I'm not sure. Definitely here in the States. Probably in Canada. Uh, yeah, not bad. And if you can get it for $12, if you get it for under $20 and you don't have any other safety razors and you want to try shaving like this, this is good. It's a solid razor. It really is. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm more than impressed. I thought it was going to be kind of cheap and, you know, flimsy, but it feels solid. That's good. All right. I can recommend it. Okay, everybody. Hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully all the people that wanted to see that review uh, enjoyed this. And uh, if you were on the fence or you were kind of thinking about getting one, may maybe get that one or maybe get the King C Gillette, depending on kind of the form factor you like. But you can't go wrong with either one for easily available safety razors you can go and buy right now. <laughs> all right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. I read every single one of them. I can't respond to all of them. And uh, thanks to everybody that watches and everybody that responds. And uh, yeah, all right. Well, have a great weekend and I will see you all on Monday. Bye.